we have some new Rogue Squadron news, which is amazing. <laughs> but I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. Hello everyone, I have some news I'm a little late on and also some brand new news that I found just a little bit ago via my favorite news source, Twitter. First we have a quote from Tamora Morrison about the future of Boba Fett. Essentially saying he wants him to be more badass and ruthless, which after thinking back on Book of Boba Fett would be very nice. Next up we have some production photos of the Acolyte and they look pretty great. First off we have this Wookiee Jedi. Next up we have this Zabrak which looks like she's probably a dark side user just by the dress that she's wearing. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting off but going off of who this is I might be wrong which I'll get to that in a second. Next up we have another picture of that Zabrak female with a couple other people. I'm th I think this is someone who's just on set but this is actually someone in character. Which this kind of looks like it's a bow she's hanging over her shoulder. And to continue on we got some Li Zhongzhe? I might be butchering that. But we got some photos of him on the set of the Acolyte as well. Again in Jedi robes. We got some more with Dean Charles Chapman on the set. Again Jedi robes. I think this is probably maybe a bunch of Jedi from the High Republic come in to see something, to investigate something out on some sort of planet, I'm not really sure. And finally we have our first visual of Daphne Keene on the set of the Acolyte with this interesting hairstyle, but also what looks to be a quiver of arrows along her waist, with again I think is some sort of sniper or bow across her arm. I have no idea what's going on here, but my interest is peaked. And finally going off of a couple of those photos. This is another photo of that wook, which has a couple of people thinking. Kyle Katarn on Twitter thinks that this could be Barry Yaga's nephew, which if you haven't read any of the High Republic series, which is fine, it's very, it's very hit and miss, but he is a Wookiee Jedi. But he's thinking here that it could be Barry Yaga's nephew, whereas someone could just think it's an older Barry Yaga himself with this kind of grayer, wider chin Wookiee fur, which I think I would probably go with that more so than his nephew. And we got a little bit of Jedi Survivor news with Cameron Monaghan basically saying it's one of the best Star Wars games of all time, which is going to be difficult because one, there's Fallen Order, two, there's Battlefront 2, three, there's Star Wars Racer, four, there's Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. I mean, the hits are there. But in all seriousness though, I hope he's right. And I think that it could be an absolute banger, especially with the mystery behind that weird white-haired person who I still have no idea who it is. And one additional note on that is that people are just saying to give him a series after Jedi Survivors, which I'm not against. And as the time of this recording, as you can see, we have some new Rogue Squadron news, which is amazing. <laughs> Basically that it is now in active development. And I think it has been for a little bit based on this tweet from Patty Jenkins herself. In this tweet by Patty Jenkins, she says, Lucasfilm asked me to consider coming back to RS Rogue Squadron after WW3 Wonder Woman 3, which I was honored to do so, so I agreed. They made her a new deal and she's still on it and the project is in active development ever since. Now I don't think there's any timeline given for this, so I don't know if this was last week, this was a few months ago, but considering that Wonder Woman 3 was cancelled fairly recently, I'm assuming it was a good bit ago that Rogue Squadron was still in active development. Because I'm assuming they had some sort of plan with Wonder Woman 3 that they were acting on until James Gunn and company took over DC. And lastly, one bit of news, Skeleton Crew will explore the origins of the Night Scissors. Yes. Now I don't know how much information is out about Skeleton Crew, I don't know if they have a specific timeline of where Skeleton Crew is going to take place. Actually, let's look that up real quick. Okay, so it's going to be set 9 years after the Battle of Yavin. Okay, so that's going to be interesting if it's going to explore the origin of the Night Sisters because a lot of them are dead. So I'm curious if we'll be getting live action Mother Talzin. It'd be interesting to see how they design her in live action and because of the way she is. I kind of hope they don't because it could look very weird, but they could also pull it off. And if they were to do it, I would love to see her in live action. Seeing Mother Talzin nine years after the Battle of Yavin, 
I'm really interested to see where her mind is at at that point. And finally, just a prequel meme to think about as I end this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment what you think about all this news, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time, and may the force be with you.